I've literally been waiting for today for over 25 years. You see, this is a photo of me wearing my first ever pair of Jordans, the Cherry Jordan 12. And although I don't wear 12s like that, this is basically the sneaker that started it all for me. And if you guys didn't know, Jordan brand is finally bringing them back. I haven't owned this shoe since I was nine years old, man. That's over 25 years. Yes, I'm that old. Technically, they come out this coming weekend, but since we're in DC for Got Soul, I'm gonna hopefully purchase a pair today. So today is going to be the day that I finally add this sneaker back into my collection. And if for some reason I can't find them at Got Soul, then... All right, let's go to Got Soul and let's hopefully find the Cherry 12s. I don't care which one you want. y'all we are inside at got sold dc so far amazing event and it's only been an hour in but i will say that i have seen tons of pairs of the cherry 12s but i have not asked anybody if they have my size so hopefully this mission is going to be a success and i've actually seen a lot of people wearing them so i think it's because the early access was given out a few days ago and no i did not get early access thank you very much nike and also i thought about doing something dope but because i really don't have room to take back multiple shoes so i might just give somebody my shoes off my feet but if you want to see that you got to follow me on snapchat follow me on snapchat y'all because i'd be posting exclusive daily vlog type content on there that you can only see on my snapchat also guys i gotta make sure that i get a good deal all right i'm not trying to just buy the first one i see unless there's only one size 10 in this whole building but hopefully that's not the case so you know what i'm saying gotta get a good deal and also i'm gonna be using this mic today my little wireless mic so let me know how y'all like that for the first person vlog style because usually i only use this if i have someone filming for me but obviously I don't have someone filming for me today. Yeah, solo mission. All right, I already see one pair. How you doing, boss? What size are these? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? How much you asking? 280. 380? 280. 280, okay. All right, I need a 10. If I can't find a 10, I might come back for these. You just sold it? Damn, I'm late. Okay, all right. I might be back for those. Thank you. My guy, do you have a size 10 in these? There's like one box down there that I can't see the size. No, it's 10 and a half, actually. 10 and a half? Okay, all right, thank you. Damn, 0 for 2, y'all, 0 for 2. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, you had the power puffs. Okay. Oh man, oh my God, first time seeing these. Man, the lighting is bad in here. Leather, wow. The leather fours, bro. Leather bread fours. First time seeing these in person. And it's my size. Hey, what you trying to do? <laughs> Damn, man. These are crazy, bro. Hey, you guys are the guys from the Denim Tears meme, right? That, that's it. That's, that's you, it. Right? That's more, us. Look, more we want more. More memes to come. Wow. More memes. Oh, damn. These are sick. The Spider-Mans. Man, if you didn't have a size 18, I'd take it. What size is this? The Star Trek. Yeah, these are too big. Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Nine and a half? Okay, how much? Um, 275. 275, okay, thank you. This is the cherries. Uh, I have 11 and a half. Okay, no 10s, huh? We have a 10 at, the, have a 10 at, my, at, my, at my store, but... Okay. Okay, then, oh, all good. Thank you, brother. Yeah, that's a size 12 right there. All right, guys, I'm halfway through the venue, literally going zigzag through all the lanes. I've only found one person who has a pair in my size, but he was waxing on the price. And also, he was literally right by the speaker, so I wasn't trying to film over there. You feel me? Can't get copyright. But obviously, if that's the only one in the building, I'm going to have to go back and see if he can budge. But he wanted like 320. All right, y'all, so I'm trying on the CPFM Lee 2s. People say that these fit big, but I'm wearing a size 10, and they actually fit perfect. Perfect, and they're actually pretty comfortable. I might just keep these on for the rest of the show. These things are pretty hot fire, and my boy said he might take care of me on the price. So let's see how much you want. How much? Easy. Let's do it. Let's do it. 400. Taking these home. Nah, the wizard's mascot is here, bro, and he's got the foams on. Should I rock them right now? Loki, I was thinking about just throwing them on. They go with your fit. You try them on? Yeah, I got them from upscale. Yeah. I'm a 10. You should know my size, all right? I buy a lot of stuff from you guys. 
All right, y'all, so we didn't pick up the 12s quite yet, but we did pick up the Flea 2s. Shout out to my boy Upscale for the great price on these. These went down in price like crazy. I'm thinking about just wearing them for the rest of the event because I told y'all what I want to do with my Royals. So I might throw these on the on the toe. I'm just worried that the swoosh is gonna fall off because this thing is pretty flimsy. Imagine if I lose the swoosh, that's all bad. Somebody goes chasing after me like, hey, hey, you dropped your swoosh. So yeah, let's put these on feet. checked every single vendor booth and again only one person had my size but he was asking over 300 Any one guy walking around with a pair let me go ask him what size his it is finally found them all right we finally found them shout out to the homie you want to be on camera shout out to the homie Grim heat man yes sir he didn't have a booth or anything. He was just walking around and he had the shoes like literally like that. And I was like, yo, is that a size 10? It happened to be a size 10. 260 he got me. Not a bad price at all. Mission completed. This is like my mission for today and we got him. So appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much, man. Let's go. All right, boys. Mission accomplished. We got him here. Literally 25 years in the making, man. Insert my kid picture one more time. If you guys have been watching my videos for the last couple of years, you guys know that I have been begging Jordan brand for these to come out and on top of that every single year there's been rumors of these coming out and they never do but finally in 2023 they are here and I know this is probably a shoe that's gonna be sitting or they're gonna hit the outlets like it's not about that if you're a real sneakerhead there's those pairs that just mean so much to you so nostalgic and for me this is the one this is a big moment for me if you're literally if you're a subscriber y'all know how deep this is, all right? It might not seem deep to you, but to me, this is deep, man. So we got, boom, the Cherry Jordan 12s. And again, a lot of people have been rocking these today. So the more I see them, the more I see people rocking them, the more excited I've been for my pairs. I was debating about wearing them right now, but I think I'm gonna save them for later. Probably not. Oh, I just realized that. They did the OG Nike top. They didn't do a Jumpman on there. The funny thing is when I wore my pair for some reason, I put red laces when I was a kid. So let me know if y'all think I should put red laces. Probably not a good idea in LA. I don't know, just to retake a photo and do like a side by side. Oh, maybe I should just recreate my childhood photo. But here they are, man. And of of course, you already know I gotta do it. <sighs> Smells so good. Sometimes Jordan brand, when they bring back shoes, they'll change something or they'll make the color off a little bit. I think they just nailed it right here, bro. They nailed it, man. I'm definitely doubling up on these two. I need a pair just to, you know, put on display. And then obviously I'm gonna rock this pair. And I wanna get Mina a pair too, even though she does not want them, but yeah, she needs them. Whether she likes it or not, I'm holding her hostage. She's buying these. Hey, no photos right now, I'm sorry. I'm busy, I'm vlogging. Good? My fault. Okay, thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Next time. Now, I know y'all see me rocking the Dream Crew Apothecary Film Crew hat in this video. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that the full collection is dropping this Friday on Apothecary's website. Now, if you guys didn't know, Apothecary is a sock company that was started by my good friend, Seth Fowler. And we have done a collaboration in the past, but this is our second drop. So I'm super excited to run it back with the Apothecary family. And this time we're doing way more than just socks. We got a t-shirt, we got the trucker hats, and we got four different socks for you guys. The concept was to make a collection surrounded around content creation and being on set of a film but also to inspire all of you guys to get your phones get your cameras whatever it may be and shoot some content film your life so that you can enjoy those moments later on so yeah the whole collection drops this friday like i said on apothecary's website we got the t-shirt the hats which is literally my favorite hat ever because it's got the little film strip right there on the side and each sock has its own individual design which makes them all unique from the ice cream sneaker inspired camera equipment sock to the classic dream crew-esque camo film crew sock. This collection is literally one of my favorite collabs I've ever done. So if you want to grab one of these pieces, please head over to the drop when it happens on Friday. I'll leave the link down below if anybody's interested in picking any of these items up. Again, it's going to be dropping this Friday. Follow them on Instagram because they're going to be posting all the updates of when a drop is, times, all that stuff. And do not miss out on the latest Dream Crew collection. Ain't no gimmick. Don't need no gimmicks. Got no limits. No speaking limit. 